All right, coming up next, it's a UFC heavyweight showdown. Our tale of the tape for this heavyweight fight. Four years apart, and they both possess a similar height and reach. We send it inside the octagon. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, a referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Loving. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. And fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, 10 losses, one draw, and one no contest. He stands 6 feet 3 inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds. Fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil, Antonio Henrique Minotaur! Now with the his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 16 wins, 9 losses. He stands 6 feet 1 is tall, weighing in at 235 pounds. Fighting out of Columbus, Ohio, presenting the member of the UFC Hall of Fame and the former UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Mark. Okay, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your corner. They touch him up and we are underway. Are you ready? You ready? Fight. Here we go. Oh, he brought that offense, Joe. Opens with the inside leg kick. Coleman gets caught with that punch. Oh, he lands a huge kick to the body, Joe. Big oh, good there. left hand. Oh, is that a huge kick to the body or what? Hard overhand punch. Well, that kick landed the body beautifully placed right underneath that elbow. Let's see if he makes the adjustments now defensively to avoid opening up that midsection to further damage by that kick. Trying to get a single. Going to the body there with the right kick. First takedown attempt is there. Nice elbow to the body. Just over three minutes now to go in round one. Excellent movement on the ground here. Always trying to better his position. Full mount. Oh, he gets reversed. Beautiful sweep. He's back to full mount again. Nice punch there by Cook. Excellent movement on the ground here. Constantly moving, constantly staying busy. Now he's going for a Kimura. He's got his wrist clasped together, the double wrist lock position. It looks like this submission's locked. He's going to lift his opponent's wrist up and towards his back, putting tremendous pressure on that shoulder. That Kimura was nasty, but he got free. He's in full guard here. Beautiful reversal. Very nice sweep winds up at his opponent's guard. Sweep 
reversal. And he winds up on top. And there's one leg over. He's almost mounted him here. He's got it. He's mounted him. In half guard. Good punch. Final seconds of round one. Oh, he found the target there. That'll work. Hard hammer fist. That one sounds means we have reached the end of round one. And here we see some beautiful submission offense here. Let's see it again. And let's look at that from a different camera. All right, here we go with round two. And he eats a right hand there. That one hurt. Oh, that's a clean left right there, Joe. Level change there. Look at this though. It was a beautiful job setting up that submission, and once he got it, the fight was over. Yeah, that is high-level stuff out of him there, Joe, to finish the submission. It's one thing to get the dominant position. It's another thing to close the show, and he certainly did that here tonight. That's a big one. And here it is again, absolutely perfectly executed. And here we see it again. Beautiful submission victory. So a seminal moment for him here tonight, Joe Rogan, as he gets the win by way of submission. Certainly one of the bigger wins of his career and as big a statement as he could have made here tonight. Bruce Buffer now with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Leving has called a stop to this contest at 34 seconds of round number two. For the winner by submission, Antonio Henrido Minotaro Nogueira. So there he is, your winner by way of submission. And how good was that? I mean, you talk about maximizing a UFC showcase. And that's a great example of doing just that. You see him sharing a moment here with his coaches, his training partners, and you can be sure that with the hard work done and the hay in the barn, that these guys are gonna be celebrating deep into the night after a submission win like this.